We've, we've just received some discouraging news from Terran Command pilots. At 0300 today, after the captured Tyrannus was towed to Tombaugh installation in the Ribo system, the Sheevan staged a major ambush. There isn't a lot of confirmation from the footage yet, but it's clear that a Sheevan destroyer of massive proportions jumped in and destroyed Tombaugh station, along with all of its defenses. We have designated this new class of destroyer, Lucifer. Debris from the station is still falling from orbit on Ribos 4. Oh, so we did all this for nothing. Terran and Besudan fighters and cruisers engaged the Lucifer and were wiped out quickly. Footage suggests that Lucifer was using a new type of shield, impervious to any of our attacks. Needless to say, this is grim news. If the Sheevans indeed have managed to shield a vessel of that magnitude, it's merely a matter of time before they wipe out all frontline installations and march through to our home systems. Since all attempts at communication with the Sheevans have ended in violence, it appears unlikely that a diplomatic solution will work. At this point, the Sheevans have control of Beta Cygni, Betelgeuse, Ross-128, Ikea, and Regulus. Most of the Vesudan forces are gathering in Vega for a counter-strike, while we are gathering our fleet in Antares for an effort to retake Ribos and Beta Cygni. Oddly enough, the Sheevans don't seem to be interested in taking control of any planets in the system or gathering natural resources. Instead, they seem to be focused on controlling individual jump nodes. Research and development teams at Seoul have recently completed development on a few new weapons. The group of Terran scientists has returned from a previously unexplored system known as Polaramus and bring with them a new weapon called the Flail. The Flail is quite different from our typical energy cannons. Please consult the weapons database in the tech room for more details. Our communications with Vesudan technicians have yielded the interceptor missile. By combining the Vasudan-designed engine with a Terran warhead, we were able to produce the most powerful anti-fighter weapon yet. It's an aspect-seeking missile and requires a few seconds to lock onto the enemy's engine signature, but its speed and accuracy make it lethal. Use it well. Of course. Yeah, now we get it. It's weird that the tutorial was... Um, made way before, but I don't know how to use it anyway, so let's give it up. One the flail gun is a weapon that do a lot of damage to the shield and low damage to the arm. Ah, excuse me, I should lower the sound. So it does high shield damage and low health damage, but it, they say it also has a kinetic effect that means it will affect um, it will make the it, uh, how to say it it will move the ship that is hit by it it will perturb his um, the way he flies into it it will push him literally the survivors of the That's Tombaugh attack what? must be evacuated from the Ribos system immediately we do not have sufficient firepower to retake Ribos at this time. Your wing's objective is to escort the IOTA transports. Other wings will be accompanying this convoy. Alpha Wing will be in charge of this operation and will have command authority. Oh, uh, thank you. The convoy must reach the designated checkpoint. Escort from this point onward will be provided by Allied Vasudan forces, led by the PVD Pinnacle. Hostile forces have been spotted all over this system, and there is a good chance that our convoy will be attacked by Sheevan fighters. All hostile forces should be eliminated. Okay. The PVD Pinnacle will be arriving at the designated checkpoint. This Typhon-class destroyer has one of the most skilled crews in the PVE. They will escort the refugees for the remainder of their journey. Help the Pinnacle until it has dismissed you, then return to base. Many lives depend on this operation. Good luck. Please review your objectives for this mission. Okay, so...
Yeah, you see high shield damage, low health damage. So yeah, it's both a good and bad thing that it, it um, and it has a kin kinetic effect because that um, that way the enemy well, won't fly as he would like to, but it can make them also harder to hit a little bit. So, well, I think it's worth it because the Avenger only do low shield damage. So. I should probably give them a four of items because they're going to die with other type of items. Hmm. Or maybe some rockets. I should give them some rockets. I'm not sure exactly that. I'll give some to it. Hmm. And I'll give you the flare rifle. Because apparently you aren't smart enough to take it automatically. And we should be good to go. Let's protect the convoy, shall we? <clears throat> Did you see what was left of Ribos? I've never seen anything like that before. That place was a fortress. I can't believe a single Shivan attack could level it. Play for outside the place where it's right of fire. That's a very poetic moment, I must say. Especially with this music. Let you hear that. Oh, you acquire a lot. Oh, did I miss? Ah! You jumped away? That was a waste. I am notifying Terran Command of the attack on the GTFR Nelson. Keep on your toes, there could be more. Pretty sure there will be more. Support ship being deployed. Busy. Heads up with company. Oh. Damn you, bug. I 
you die. Thank you. Enemy presence detected. It's a nice voice they have with the translator. What was the sound so you can hear me? I want you to die. Good kill. Thank you. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I'm more there. I'm sorry, Sipanchi, but you have to run away after me a little longer. I can't aim right. Maybe I should have taken a double Avenger after all. Maybe it could have been enough to take out the shields. This is still a big problem with the player rifle, how much it's modified. The way the target takes, how much it push it. Okay, let's go with Avenger only. Don't link that shit. Where are you? Where are you? Oh. There you are. There you die. Okay, guys, you under them. Let me just stay on to where I am. Hurry up. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Rearming complete, sir. Thank you. Is that the convoy? Oh, it's so far away. Damn it. I am. Where's the engine pole? Where's the PVD pinnacle? I need to rearm. Calling the PVD pinnacle is jumping in ahead, sir. Yeah, good thing. Sorry, we're late. We're assisting a convoy of freighters that were ambushed by the hammer of light. You're late, but like what? 20 seconds? No need to excuse you. It's alright. How far are those guys?
Ja, jag vet. Ah, can't wait to get better weapons and some other fighter that are pretty awesome for for the better fight for more gunfights. Oh, it's like. Yeah, have it. Four interceptors for you. And you barely took damage, you bastard. There. Yeah. Enjoy. Here's the last one. Not sure I will be using the play more in the future. Probably can be a good weapon in multiplayer. At least. Yeah, probably in the campaign, but I'm just not very really good at using it. That thing is very impressive still. Interesting. I have my own tigers running, that's why it's lagging a little bit right now. Great job, Alpha One. You managed to save all three of the IOTA transports from the Shivan attack. We were told by the crew of the Pinnacle to congratulate you on a job well done. The civilians on those transports owe you their lives as well. Oh, thank you. Um... Ow. I'll pause the untitles and we'll start recording soon. Um, until then, thanks for watching.